everybody. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys a bit more of a follow-up on my rant about my Challenger's fit and finish issues. So let's get started at the back of the car. And I'm hoping you guys will be able to see this in that light above. Now I've got these little bits of tape with the arrows showing. There's one of those little bumps in the paint that I was talking about. You walk around to this side of the car here, give you another idea as far as paint issues that I've bumped into. Hopefully you can see this. Again, it's kind of hard for some of these to come up on camera. You can kind of see it there. Got another one on the hood here. Hopefully you guys can see this. Sorry if it's kind of jinky, but you can kind of see it there. Anyway, trust me, it's there. Got another couple on this side. Kind of back to back. See if you can see these. Again, it's a lot easier to see them. You kind of see it there. One right there. And then the other one is found recently. Again, I don't know if you can even see it. Just small little things. It'll focus. You can see that one right there. Now, aside from that, issues with fit and finish, one of the things that's bugged the shit out of me on this car have been these panels here. And if you can see this, this is kind of a kind of a drip mark going all down that quarter panel. Instead of being flush and flat, it's got kind of an intermittent ridge that starts at about here and works its way down. And that's a bit of a, that's just a, again, it's just Dodge not being able to get paint right. <clears throat> the other side's the same. Now, when I talk about fit, this is the most glaring one. I'm gonna, it shows an example. This is pretty flat, pretty nice. Come around over here. Oh, look at that. Great job, Dodge. Again, those are paint issues and some fit and finish problems that I was ranting on a little bit in one of my last videos. Now, aside from that, again, love the car to death. Wouldn't trade it for any one of the other ones. I'm sure they have their own set of problems as well. But just again, to show you guys and showcase some of the issues that I've got as far as fit and finish. There you go.